All debts, mortgages, whether they are commercial or domestic, are all forgiven. Because of the profound statement that I have made, I am asking every single viewer to share this video with everybody that they know, because the entire world's planet and all 195 countries around the world need to know that all mortgages, whether they are commercial and debts, are all forgiven. This is the first of three parts and I'll be releasing the others as we lead up to the Easter break. To make this public announcement statement, I'll be using terms that may not be totally familiar with the general public. Because of this, the descriptions will appear with all qualifying statements as well as independent statements in the description box itself. On second viewing of this video, which I insist that you do, you will have enough knowledge and information for you to be able to control those things that are in your life. So as a result, in your own pace, please go through it because it is the most important statement that you are going to hear for at least 25 years into the future. As we enter this brand new world where the currencies globally are going to be gold-backed, another word for this gold-backed currency is corona. Corona means the glare that comes of the sun. It is the glare that comes of the gold. And in Spanish, it means the crown, the golden crown. To celebrate this moment in time, and it is taking place as we speak in every single country in the world, all prisoners that are non-violent, that are not a threat to the general public's safety, will be released as a gesture of forgiveness of sin. Debt is a sin, ladies and gentlemen. Mortgage is a death pledge, and such terms cannot exist in this brand new gold back economy. There are many methods for you to be able to take advantage of the forgiveness of debt and mortgage. One of them is to launch a complaint with me. To further educate you and empower you, I will be covering more than a dozen subjects on this presentation alone and other subjects will follow suit on my other presentations. When you hear words like SARS, when you hear words like swine flu or avian flu, or in this particular stage, in this most remarkable point in history, words like corona, they are referring in banking codes to the forgiveness of debt. So if it is aviation flu, they are saying to you in coded language that we are going to forgive the aviation industry's debts. But of course the general public, because they do not know what these codes are, will not be savvy to it. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, a code simply means you need a cipher or a decipher to be able to understand what that is. Because if I speak to you in a code, that just simply means only you can hear it and only you can understand it. So when they are speaking to you and openly say to you rules, regulations, statutes and codes, they are saying that it's all coded language. My job as a planet potentiary judge is to educate you on the breaking of those codes as well as the symbolic language that accompanies it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I as a planet potentiary judge and as a chief federal postal court judge have cracked those codes. The world's corporations are speaking to each other in their prospective secret societies openly right in front of your face with those coded languages and symbol. When this is taking place, you are essentially being disabled. They are walking you into a disability, a place of disability which is, of course, against the law. The second reason 
why the corporations speak in this code is because they believe every single individual person on this planet is in direct competition with each other as well as the corporations and as well as your own governments. Now you are not aware of this but your governments as it were is foreign to you and you are foreign to them. To the extreme point if you ask any police officer on the street do you serve the public or do you protect parliament or the senate they will tell you their first duty is to parliament, the senate or the various prospective governments around the world. You ladies and gentlemen are actually foreign to them speaking in a foreign language. Hence you cannot understand their banking codes, their secret society bar association codes and it is my job once again to make sure that every human being is actually on a geometric level playing field so they can openly participate in this golden age, in this golden corona backed currency. For the last one month the corporations, the stock market and the various companies that have floated their stocks on the stock markets all over the world are approaching the federal banks all over the world, yes ladies and gentlemen the federal bank, the bank that prints fiat currency which means empty promissory notes has been approaching the federal reserve banks around the world and asking them to buy the shares in the marketplace which are now collapsing before their eyes. This is happening because of the far more stable and supreme currency of the world which is gold is replacing the world of fiat currency. Your world ladies and gentlemen is divided in two parts. One that is known as the shadow world or be it the fiction world with the fiction currency with their fiction corporations and their fiction courts and then you have the world of facts. Gold is a fact. The federal postal court courts are a fact because the federal reserve banks are purchasing these stocks at untold prices. Trillions of dollars have now been reprinted into the economy. Because of this your currencies, the fiat currencies as well as the stock market and the prices of it is going to collapse. It is imminent. It is all actually happening right before your eyes. The pension funds ladies and gentlemen and that is very important because the pension funds are real sweat equity. That in itself is not fiat currency. Because the pension funds are directly linked to the stock market via the pension funds managers, your pension funds are going to be expected to prop up and to brank roll this effort of printing trillions of more dollars as a fruitless attempt to stop the corona from entering every single country in the world. So on a personal note as well as my duties I'm telling the baby boomers who are maturing into retirement and will be retiring for the next five years or more your pension funds may be in grave danger. It is up to you now to control your own pensions. It is up to you to tell the pension funds managers what to do. These things are called instructions. Without instructions they will continue to do whatever they think they want to do because they believe that you are incompetent to be able to deal with your own pensions. After all this is why you handed over that responsibility to somebody else. Trump staff have made it very clear they are expecting the baby boomers to rescue this stock market collapse. When I released the price of gold just a few weeks ago what happened to the price of gold? It is now shooting up. 
because it is the gold that is now sweeping the world. Because of this, the general public with the fiat currency may not and probably will not have enough fiat currency money to buy into this brand new currency of gold and silver. To qualify this statement, pick up the phone and ask your bullion market dealer if they have any gold or silver. They will tell you that there has been a run on the gold or silver. They are just waiting for the Easter break when they be instructed to start reselling the gold and silver. As of this day, the 26th of March 2020, I am banning the use of the word virus because the word virus means those men and women that are susceptible to suggestion will have their minds infected. This is what the word virus means. It means to infect a person's mind. So the governments of this world are not allowed to use this word a virus or attach it to any other words. If I find that they are, they will be opened to prosecution through the Federal Postal Court judge for the fictitious conveyance of language which will carry a 20-year prison sentence and fines of anything up to £25 million. The corporations and the governments, as well as the individuals that have engineered these words like viruses, will find themselves open to prosecution because such terms that disable people and confuse people breaks the very foundation of trust law and anybody breaking trust law vacates their position as a fiduciary. Whatever little trust that the world's corporations, presidents, the CEOs, the financial directors have with the people will be null and void just like the mortgages and debts if they continue to use this word or try to contaminate the corona effect that is now sweeping this planet. It is time for you to launch that complaint with me. For the citizens of this world, whenever you hear presidents or corporations or governments, it is actually one element of trust law. And because they will be holding a fiduciary position, you are automatically the beneficiary of your government. You are the beneficiary of the banking industry. You are the beneficiary of your sweat equity. And you can never become the beneficiary of a mortgage or debt because that's a debt pledge and debt is a sin. So it is up to the fiduciaries of this world to work with the citizens of this planet to make sure that human beings are not in sin or in debt pledge. In law, you have what is known as tacit agreement. Tacit agreement just simply means anybody that makes a statement. And if you do not rebut it under the Roberts rules of a corporation, you accept it as being true. And if you do not stop and correct the corporations, you will not become the beneficiary of the forgiveness of all of these debts. It is very easy to be able to rebut it. You just simply write a letter to them. You would just simply ask them some basic questions of which I cannot cover here. But if you email me, I will help you and give you some points that you can start to raise that will aid you in becoming the beneficiary of the world's ecosystem, the world's financial system, and of course, the world's bureaucratic system. The British Broadcasting Corporation, under their perpetual, albeit a royal charter, has been disqualified by me. I have done this to safeguard the airways globally, so that the airways do not become contaminated with their false and misleading statements. For those people that choose to, and it is a choice whether you wish to participate in the BBC's licensing system, essentially breaking the law because 
it's now been disqualified. If, however, you wish to know more about it, you can email me and I will provide that information for you. For every man and woman that is going to cross over this brand new world from the world of fiction into the world of facts, will not be able to keep those subhuman feelings and conditions in mind. They cannot make this journey because in the world of facts, telling lies, making false statements, making false accusations are all nothing more than the shadow world. It is the world that keeps mankind in disagreement and warring amongst each other. So if you are part of that subhuman condition, you cannot make this journey because it is up to you to take responsibility. And when you take responsibility, you have power. Yes, I'm aware that you have been brainwashed. Yes, I'm aware that you have been misled into thinking that with great power comes great responsibility. Nobody gets any power without taking responsibility. For those people that are in some sort of a fiduciary position, if you have these subhuman traits, which is commonly known as psychopathy or narcissism, which is a mechanism that psychopaths use. And yes, I know these may be strong words to you, but I have given you all the qualifying statements and all the proof that you need in the description box. Those people that have these subhuman traits, which are commonly linked to the seven deadly sins. I'm aware that the general public will be ignorant about the seven deadly sins, which is what most of these subspecies practice. Because in the world of facts, such conduct can never exist. Because in the world of facts, we cannot have shadow games being played. We cannot have lies being perpetrated. This will be nothing more than a step back in man's evolution. To my teacher, to my mentor and my friend, David Wayne Miller, I wish to thank you. And on behalf of the citizens of this world, I wish to thank you for hushering in this brand new economy, this brand new gold back economy. My fondness hope is that you will share this video and that every single person on this planet will hear about what is happening. In doing so, ladies and gentlemen, you have given yourself the power to be able to spread the good news. In doing so, you have aided your fellow human being part of a social contract. In so far as that you are performing your social contract, you will find that the army, the navy, the air force will honor you and will protect you and your rights. It is my fondness wish that every single citizen of this planet becomes the beneficiary of the multitude of trusts that are out there, like the Jesus' trust, like the Mohammedans' trust. And there is so many of them that the list will go on and on. All of this, ladies and gentlemen, to unlock, all you have to do is be honor-bound and duty-bound and perform those social contracts on a global scale. The easiest way to do this is to share this video and the descriptions that accompany it. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, look after yourself. If you are worried about your health, then of course, take all the necessary steps that you need to, to keep yourself healthy in mind and in physical body. Bye-bye for now, ladies and gentlemen.